Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back. It's episode 7 on this war game, David's March Campaign. Now that might not sound familiar, at least to those who are watching this video out of the blue. Um, it is a campaign that is modded. This used to be the Bear vs. Dragon campaign. And it was modded by Tarsus. And the mod is something you can find down below in the description. Open the Google Doc and everything will be explained. How to install it, how to download it, all those steps. Previous episode, episode 6, we had that huge clash in Netivot. And, um, well, we survived-ish. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> it was not pretty. Hell of a fight. And I'm glad you guys enjoyed the videos out of it. Today, hopefully, something uh, a bit less drastic. I will have to start moving towards Arish if I can. Because I need to capture this before turn 18. And it's currently turn 11. I still have to have a couple of turns left in order to get there. So I want to try and capture Netavot in the next turn. Um, pushing into Khan Yunus is... <clears throat> it's not great in the worst case scenario. It's going to be difficult in the best case scenario. Because I am looking at a whole bunch of fairly advanced tanks. Not only that, but they also come with a necessary assortment of NTR, so just airstriking them out of existence is not going to happen. And we have artillery firing back at us, including the M270 Atacams. Of course, you cannot just have tanks go in unescorted, and that's why they have the Republican Guard. They're all transported by BMP2Cs, so we have a nice assortment of autocannons facing us. And there are 32 of these gentlemen, which are 15-man squads. Um, not yet. <clears throat> We're not pushing in there just yet. I will, however, push the other forces in here. Especially since their airborne group is now dead. I can much more safely move in. Previously, kept, they kept hopping from Netavot to Kiryat Gat. They can't do that anymore. Now, the guys over here, um, insofar as they need it, I will put them on R and R to make sure they have the maximum amount of initiative. Most of them are already refit and don't need any such attention. So yeah, we're fine. I have no points. Um, I'm not going to go on this battle just now. The reason being, this group just came in. And I want them to be part of this fight. If they don't have any initiative, they cannot fight. So what I will do is send in my aircraft. And then end the turn. And they're going to have to attack me if they want to get through Naval Sector Bravo into Gaza. Have at it. And they're not having at it. That's interesting. Alright, in that case, it is my turn. I'm going to go on the offensive right here in Naval Sector Bravo. Now, we are facing a pretty substantial group. Especially those skulls are something that worry me. They have long-range Kongsberg anti-ship missiles. Jingdao also have anti-ship missiles. Munas can keep the Schultz resupplies. Type 31 is not that dangerous. Two Stereguschi and some STRB-90H for closer, um, let's say, coastal support operations. I hold most of the sectors. <clears throat> I want to try and hold Vladivostok. It's a plus 8. I also have a plus 10 from Cohesion, and they only have a plus 2. And no points from Naval Sector Delta. Still, uh, they can spend quite a lot, 1,400 starting points, that's basically enough, to spend on their whole fleet. So they can cast everything into the fight right away. Um, I can do something similar. I have 2,000 starting points. So I too can throw a lot of HGMs back at them, starting with the Veer, which this time around I will keep resupplied. It is pretty imperative in this fight that I keep the enemy, um, or that I kill off the enemy right here, right now. For the simple reason being, I don't want a naval incursion into this sector. I really don't. This is going to be uh, probably a big fight with the next battle group that's going to come in. And I'm really, really uninterested in trying to have a close encounter with a naval, uh, with a, sorry, a marine landing group. So we're not doing that. We are absolutely not doing that. Let's deploy the Anzacs. They're 90 point ships. I also have a couple of independence class ships. They are not as good. But they too can throw in their anti-missile defenses. 
and I will take my uh, ASUWs and I have 12 Super Pumas with a range of 7 kilometers. Let's make sure these guys are a bit farther apart than the previous ones were, because that didn't quite work out, did it? Yeah, there we go. Super Pumas opening up. Uh, oh, we're, we're interesting. We're looking at Moonless there. I was hoping these things had a bit more visibility. They do not. These helos. Stedaguchi. Good enough target. Uh, it looks like the Veers. There goes an Anzac. The Veers are not turned. And therefore do not engage. Okay, that's one of their Stedaguchis down. Take the other one down. Now the Veers are shooting back. Independence got blown up. Oh, they got the Schmelz firing. Stedaguchi seriously damaged, but not dead. More ASMs. Sorry, ASHMs. And just ship missiles going out. Hold on, gentlemen. Appreciate the enthusiasm, but it's slightly misplaced. I really do not want you pushing in. Because of that. Type 31 dead. Ooh. Come on, people. I need this Schuld dead. The Jingdao's are not that much of a threat, but the Schuld and the Stedaguchi are. There we go. That's a 30-pointer down. If I can capture the Muna, great, but it is very much a secondary objective. Because it... well, it basically can't do anything. It really is that simple. It cannot do anything. Um, the only reason why I would want that is if I'm going to have this battle group engage another naval unit and I need more resupplies, but I really don't think that's likely. Ah, there we go. Total victory. That means they are kicked out of the sector. And unfortunately I have no cohesion left, so I cannot chase them down. But they don't have any more command units, at least not naval-wise, so they cannot attack. Right, the second battle of Netivot. What do we have here? Uh, we seriously thinned them out. They have one infantry unit left, 26 units of support, 8 tanks. And um, I have this sector over here. As previous, they have the sectors over there. I would like to get at least one group to move in. Uh... Yeah, and then I'm just going to have to punch my way through here with the rest of the battle groups. Everything is going to have to move into Khan Yunus. As much as I hate it, everything is going to have to move in. I don't need anti-tanks. I need something with initiative. Uh, yeah, this will do. Got the Delta Force, Marine Raiders, Comanche, Cobra, Super Cobra. Yeah, you guys are it. Now, when it comes to their anti-air, they do have a bunch of support units left. One Kub, one Strelets, sorry, two Strelets, Pantisir. Eh. It's a little on the high side, but I do want to send in some planes. I have 20 points. Do I still need to spawn anything in? No, I cannot spawn anything in. He was in Fighter Squadron, that's Lightnings and Block 52s, that's all ASFs. Golden Eagle is anti-tank. This is General Bombing Run, and that's a General Bomber as well. Ah, uh, might as well. I very much want to have these guys back up. These are the Kurnaces. Make sure you head over there. You guys head over here. And since I now have a battle group that came in from the south, I should have a second sector. Yes, I have Spask's Dalny and Vladivostok, so they only have Bolshoi Cayman. Alright, this should be doable. Famous last words. Should be doable. Uh, this is a plus two, this is not. So I'm thinking I might give this sector up. At least not put a command vehicle in there. Because I don't think it's going to be that valuable. I would, however, like to hide a command unit. Let's use a Namer for that and not have the UH-60 here. I have the tanks. And these are going to have to carry their weight. 
tanks, tanks, tank, and another one. I know they have a lot of helos, oh, sorry, not helos. Um, I know they have a, a fairly dangerous assortment of tanks and or planes, but I think I can cope with that. At least I rather hope so. Let's have a set off, spawning over the tree lines to ensure it's airborne. And over here, I want to have a little stay behind force of two Maglan. One here, one here. Any CV that walks in is going to have a rough greeting. Then two Kernises and a drone. And that's going to be it for now. You're going to move up, you're going to deploy. Deploy. Good man. Get out. You have to stay behind. Kernis, fly in. Any anti air? Nothing? Huh. Okay. What are your orders, sir? So I sent. Oh! Oh! Alright. That's not quite what I was expecting. That's a 130 point command tank. Huh. And there's a T90 AM. Those things are packing weapon systems that are very capable of dealing with ATGMs. They're not that capable of dealing with unguided bombs, such as the small diameter bombs, which are excellent at dealing with tanks. So there's one. There's two. I am fully intending to push through this sector as quickly as I can. Let's have another Kurnus around and a JCM. At least try to drop a couple of JCMs on that Terminator. Seraph, forward. Another Seraph over there. I ought to kill him. There we go. Uh, you guys over there. You guys over there. And you guys over there. B what? <laughs> okay. I think a Sufa is going to have a field day there. Just drop 12 small diameter bombs right on top of that Terminator quad stack. Okay, that should take out two of them, I think. Oh god, you dropped everything on one. <laughs> That's some serious overkill there. <laughs> That's enough. Make sure it's dead. And then, when the bombs have struck, we can turn around and get back in there. Seraph, keep moving forward. Forward. They're starting to get... Wait, they took control? Okay. Ah, that's your command... No, that's another command tank. Kill. Clear this place out. So, you captured it and I didn't see it. That means it's somewhere in there. Because I have everything else locked down. Hold on. Stop. Seraph, I need intel. Shit, we lost one. So that's a T90. Oh yeah, that's definitely a T90 considering the damage I just took. Terminator's rushing away. Let me know the Seraph here. We have a third one. The Maglans are not ideally suited to go into the forest. That HGM is great, but not in dealing with forest fights. Seraph's Hellfire is at the ready. There. Stop. There it is. Got him. All right, well done. Oh, that's your only unit of infantry over there. Okay, excellent. Right, let's speed this up, because we're basically... Oh, there you are. No, there's another command unit. We're hunting CVs, or at least one CV now. I haven't really spawned in much. Or at least not that I can find. There we go. Training up these Seraphs insofar as they aren't elite already. Uh, I 
think I'm gonna have to go in here. I have marines, right? Because I think the marines are uniquely suited to doing that. Do I have airborne marines? Yes. Give me... Oh. Another one? Damn. We're getting all the CVs now. Uh, give me the marines and the pave lows, please. They're going to arrive a little faster. The CV is somewhere in this box here. But I really don't want to fly overhead with the Seraph. Another one? Thank you. And there's a BM-21. That's that last infantry unit. And there's another command? <laughs> the hell? <laughs> the AI is just spawning in all the CVs. Because they don't have anything else left. Oh, that's amusing. Hold on, I think I might have seen it over there. I think it could be a command tank, but I'm not sure. I haven't looked into what CVs they have that well. Let's just have the Marines attack move through the forest. There it is. It is indeed a command tank. There we go. How much did that clean up? Not that much. Not that much. So where'd they go? To Khan Yunus? Interesting. We did get their air force, though. Um, yeah, we're going to have to move in. And considering that I'm moving in a lot of battle groups, it means, there we go, that that battle group is no longer going to exist. Now, since there is so much armor in my assortment of units, I'm not going to go on the offensive this turn. I will do that on their part of the turn. I cannot use my Aardvarks. I can, however, use the Hammer Squadron. And uh, considering the uh, position here, we're going to need quite a few air support units, or ASFs. Uh, yes, assign... Assign the Golden Eagle Squadron and assign... USAFs. Okay, good. Forget anybody? No. End the turn. Turn 12. Here we go again. This is going to be a big one. Khan Yunus. We only have this one. We have a total value of forces of 19,058 versus their 22,772. That's a lot of units. They have 51 logistics units. Four... Five, nine command units. That's their weak spot. But getting to those units is going to be a challenge. Republican Guard, Cornet, and Anti-Air Infantry. 62 units of Anti-Air. And otherwise uh, supporting units like the Tochka. RM-70s, Atacams. 77 tanks. Dangerous units at that, including Abrams. Red arrows, so AGGM forces can be expected. 45 planes. I have 10. Well, somebody tell the AKFs that they're going to be... Well, <laughs> singular AKF that they're going to be busy. The Kafir C7 is probably going to be useful as well, just to wipe out larger swaths of infantry. Uh, Ra'am with 4 JDAM is going to be useful. Long-range anti-plane missiles. Helos are not going to be that useful. Although the Nimrod can be used as a sniper. It has very good optics. It's fast and it has two Nimrod missiles, which do 29 damage each. Considering the threat, I think it's wise to just turtle up here. Let those tanks walk right into my missile defenses. And then start pushing back. That's going to be the plan. For missile defenses, I have one Maglan reconnaissance team. I have Maglans uh, in the Namer IFV. I have all of my tanks. Uh, especially the uh, Mail Ruach are going to be very useful. 162 points. 24 power on the gun. And their best tank has 24 power on the gun as well. And 
Uh, these guys come with APS. These guys can defeat ATGMs. The rest of them cannot. As for my vehicles, um, I got the, the Hammer Orev, which fires ATGMs, but they're only ITOs. And unfortunately, I don't have the other ATGM assortment. But I do have the Palnat, the Dorban LR, more Dorban LR. How many fobs? Three fobs. Yeah, we can make this work. Won't be pretty, but I can make it work. Uh, this town... This town is not ideal. At least not for ATGMs, because the ranger is too short. And with that, I mean, the problem that I'll have over here is that the tanks are going to be firing back at the town almost immediately. So let's not have that happen. Uh, let's set up a secondary fob inside the woods. And we're going to be launching missiles from here. Lots and lots of missiles. Uh, that's the Dorban LR. I want the Paul Nuts. Right, that's all my HGM forces. At least infantry wise. Um, for the town. The Givati look better, but the problem is they don't only yeah they don't do any any kind of damage against infantry. Oh sorry, I have more Dorbin. No sorry, they only do damage against infantry. I should say that different. They only do damage against infantry. And the rest of them, Rovait, with an M72A4 law, the tank's just going to sit there laughing its ass off while I'm trying to do damage. Aircraft. I don't have a seed aircraft. I do have a drone, which has jammer pods, so I can at least try and defeat the enemy missiles. I'm going to have two Humvees for scouting duties. Keep spotting anything. Um, if I could capture Charlie, that'd be great, because I could use the points. Doing infantry on infantry warfare in the towns is going to be difficult. I don't have the infantry to burn. The Givati would be useful inside of a town, but I'm going to have to get there first. That's the challenge. Considering the plane threat, I'm going to go with a couple of Patriots all the way here in the back. Hopefully they'll be able to fire as soon as they see anything that looks like a plane. And uh, when it comes to other anti-air units... So I have a Dracon over there. The Mars only do high explosive damage, so not that valuable for what I want to have them do. Yeah, we're going to deploy all of these. It's going to be risky, but I need to deploy all of these. Can we get a flying recon? No, I don't have any. Crap. Alright, this is it. Drop off. Merkava. There, there, and there. Now, I have my fob over here, but I'm not actually using it. Regroup. We have to turn the weapons off on some of these. Because otherwise I will waste a ton of supplies. So, weapons off. You guys can fire, you can fire. And you can fire if you so desire. Actually, I would like to have you fire from over there. Let's see what the drone can spot. Oh, there we go. It's already jamming something. Yeah, it's jamming the artillery. And... We have a winner. Well, that was at least one RM-70. Here come the Zephyrs. Oh, they're just outside of range. This is problematic. I was not expecting them slash hoping for them to come up the road here. My spawn is over there. So if I'm spawning, I'm spawning almost on top of them. That's oh, fine. I can create a crossfire here. I can create a crossfire for my tanks here and my tanks over there. So they're going to have to pose, well, at least present a, a weak side from one way or another. 
HVMS is destroyed. Tanks are destroyed. Push back. Unit destroyed. Fob captured, that's fine. I'll just recapture that. I can turn this into a beautiful tank match. I just need to have a bit more reconnaissance because I'm almost going in blind. Come on, tanks. Ah. Aerial unit. Dracon forward. We've got the Palnat over there defending not only this road but also this bridge. Thank you, Dracon. Oh, buddy. Buddy, what are you doing? AI and their fantastic maneuvering. Uh, give me one group of Shy Ted to recapture that fob. If I'm going to push through here, I want to make sure that I don't get suddenly ambushed from the forest here. So we're going to move forward with reconnaissance. I want this Humvee sitting over there and not shooting. Give me another couple of Merkavas. And another couple. And make sure that those guys do not get killed off by anything that flies. I'll probably lose a few, but hopefully not too many. Dracon, can you get him this time? Can you do it? Yes, you can. There we go. Fob recaptured. I'm going to try and get some eyes on Netivot. Let's drop off some Maglan over there. And some, uh, what is that? Isuf Kravi over there. They didn't capture Charlie, nor Rafa. They had plenty of command units to do that. Merkava, forward. Humvee forward, other Humvee forward. At this point, it's going to be useful to have the Gavati in here. Because I do not want an ambush. Tanks in towns without infantry support are a nightmare. Fortunately, I'm fighting the AI. And that means they're a bit more predictable. They generally don't have an ambushing force in a town. Generally. Also, I'm curious where their aircraft are. But most of the time, they don't use them. Oh, there's infantry. Hold on. Here's infantry. Don't use the Lahat. Just use your main gun. You got 56 rounds. Make use of them. Uh, Merkavas. We're going to attack move to here. Through the forests. There we go. Oh, there's a command unit there. That's a Pryo. Even with the HGM, we can't touch it. Kill. There. Uh, these gentlemen drop off and move away. This is not the fight that I had in mind. I thought this was going to be a long, grindy battle. But where are their units? Where are all those T-90s at? Here, I've deployed all my Merkava 4s. I am operating pretty blind, though. I want Givati here covering this bridge, these Givati covering this bridge. Even though they don't have any tank weapon, they can still be sort of useful. Come on. I'm just rolling right into their sector? Ah, there we go. Time to back these guys up with a couple of Merkava 3Bs. They have grenade launchers, they're going to be valuable. What the hell? What's that? What? Turafa has been captured. Lovely. Any airborne command units? No. 
Okay, we're gonna have to conjure an airborne unit up then. Airborne command unit. That Holy, is that enough ATGMs for you? What I'm gonna do is make sure that I have um, the CV drop off and then fly the Yansuf, sorry, the Yansuf with command infantry to Netivot, capture it, and make sure that I hold it. Because then I can just reinforce that line from there. There's a quad stack of Jupiters out there. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. There. I want you guys to hold, 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 hold. You guys to move. You guys to stop. Drop. CV. Board the helo. Congratulations, you're now a flying command unit. Seriously, what is going on? We another Gao 19 over there. What? What? No! You don't get, just get to attack like that. You guys ready? Good. Get okay, a move on. We're gonna drop you in these buildings here. I'm pretty confident about that position. I think I can make that work. Hello. What do you think you're doing? There is still something in here. I haven't fully cleared it out. So the first order of business will be to spawn in a couple more tanks. Probably the probably probably work of a three Bs. Especially considering that there's a real chance that there's infantry in there. Um Potentially a bit of infantry on my own. Uh, maybe some of the Shayatet 13 and the Namer. Got it. What is happening to the AI? This is so boring. There, capped it. Rick on tank, because it's safest. Hold. Oh, 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 The BMP 2K command unit is shooting back. Yay! <laughs> Captured logistics units. Ah! And lost them too. Yeah, there was some anti air infantry in there. What is this? Oh, now you're sending an aircraft. You're a little late with that. Kill. Eliminate. Command unit destroyed. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to go command vehicle hunting him. And I don't really like that. Especially considering I don't have a flying anti air unit, or a flying recon. It's gonna take me a bit more time. Jupiter's over there. Capture that. Uh, also, give me a Yasur over here just to resupply the whole bunch. Because everybody's running out of fuel. Very fast. Hold, 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 hold. Something's happening here. Shit, we're out of fuel. They spawned in a bunch of units. Yeah, Zephyr. There's frickin' Zephyrs over there. One down. Humvee, get me intel. Were they hiding a whole load of units over there, or what? They even wiped out a, a Murkava. And not the cheap car and... Oh, shit. Not the cheap kind either. NTR over there. Now, we, in plain English, are gonna fuck them up. One one Abrams, take that out. These things are getting a uh, real hammering. A 
level that. Just level the place. Look at that. Oh, right, they had into you. <laughs> Ugh, I completely forgot about that. Get back. Get back, get back. You can't, because you're out of fuel. Oh, no. All right, artillery's out. These things fire uh, high explosive. Dealing with these transports is not the issue. Finding their last command unit is the issue. Um, please drive in an Oshkosher 3. What? Oh! Is that how it's going to be now? There's a freaking T-14 Armata over there. Oh no. Um, hmm. If we can kill that using these Merkavas, we can win. These Merkavas seemingly can hold their own. There it is. Oh, got it. At the expense of another Merkava 4. Total victory. I'll take it. Thank you kindly. For leaving. Um, right. I'm going to end it here. Uh, relatively shorter episode. And uh, don't worry, it's not the last. Because we have them on the run. But they still have a lot of tanks. they still got 59 tanks. For some reason, they didn't just deploy any of them. The Republican Guard, though, got pretty neutered. The support vehicles lost a few, but not that bad. And there's another tank battalion. Great. T-72 has one. Zafir S uh, Zafir 74, T-72B3, and Ramas S2. With a bit more infantry. These guys look fairly dangerous. Jundi Kafifa with 22 AP missiles and Saka with the Vampire and Igla. Commandos. Plenty more to hit. And we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching this one. I hope you have enjoyed it. And soon the next part will be up.